With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's start the question. The question says that position of a particle moving along x-axis is given by x is equal to 80 square plus bt plus c. The numerical values of a, b and c are 7, minus 2 and 5 respectively. SI units are used. Find the velocity of the particle at t equal to 5, acceleration of the particle at t equal to 5, average velocity during the interval t equal to 0 to t equal to 5, average acceleration during the interval t is equal to 0 to t equal to 5. So to find out the velocity, we have to differentiate the position equation. So before doing that, x will be equal to at square plus bt plus c. Now let's substitute the value of abc. Therefore, position will now become 7t square minus 2t plus 5. Now at time t equal to 0 we can find out what is initial position. Put t equal to 0 we will be getting initial position which will be equal to 5 because it will be 0 minus 0 and at t is equal to 5 seconds we will be getting final position that will be equal to 7 into 5 square minus 10 plus 5. So on simplification the final position will be equal to this will be equal to 170. Now, to find out the velocity, we know that we can find out the velocity by differentiating position once. Therefore, we are finding the x by dt, the dx by dt value will be equal to v. Now, that should be equal to differentiation of t square, which is equal to 2t minus differentiation of, so on simplifying, velocity will now be equal to 14t minus 2 at t is equal to 5 seconds. We will be getting velocity is 14 into 5 minus 2 which is 70 minus 2 68 meter per second therefore velocity will be equal to 68 meter per second at time t is equal to 5 seconds in the second part of the question they ask us to find out the acceleration at t is equal to 5 seconds so if we are trying to find out acceleration we know that acceleration is nothing but dv by dt so if we are differentiating v with respect to time it is differentiation of 14t minus 5 which is going to be simply 14 Therefore, acceleration will be 14 meter per second square. That is, the motion is constantly accelerated. Now, in the third part of the question, they ask us to find out average velocity during the interval t equal to 0 to t is equal to 5. And we know that average velocity is given by average velocity is total displacement of the body divided by total time. So we know that displacement further can be found out as the change in position. So we already know what is final position and what is initial position. So total displacement will be final position minus initial divided by time for which they are asking is 5 seconds. So this will be average velocity. So we get average velocity as final position we have found it out to be 170. Initial position is 5. 170 minus 5 divided by 5 which is 165 divided by 5 which is going to be equal 33 meter per second. So we get average velocity as 33 meter per second. Next, in the fourth question, the fourth part of the question, the average acceleration during t equal to 0 to t equal to 5. So if at all we are trying to find out average acceleration in the fourth case. So average acceleration we know that it is change in velocity by time. So it will be v minus u divided by t. So v at t equal to 5 seconds we have already calculated which is 65 minus velocity at time t equal to 0 is minus 2. So this will be equal to 68 minus of minus 2 divided by 5 which is going to be 70 divided by 5 which is nothing but 16 meter per second square. So average acceleration will now be equal to 16 meter per second square. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.